Hello everyone. This short video has been designed to help you put together an outstanding learning experience plan and reflection. There are several sections in it. It should amount to about two pages single spaced in this format. As I mentioned in class, the first two sections are about objectives and expected outcomes. This particular learning experience is about Fibonacci sequence, so it's a math uh, lesson. So the first two sections describe objectives and the process, a little bit about the process for learning. You'll notice under learning standards there's something called ISTE-NETS, Performance Indicators for Students. These are the technology performance indicators and there are not very many of them and you'll probably use them quite a few times. She's added uh, a number of them here uh, listed maybe a little bit more than she evaluates but we'll see how they align with her rubric. She also lists her standards, common core standards for math. So see how they're just briefly listed there and in, under her criteria for assessment she re refers to a rubric and she explains a little bit about what the rubric is. So we're going to jump down to that rubric so what I want you to do is, as you're putting this rubric together, I want you to be referring back to the standard. See if the language here matches the language in the standards. And don't worry about loading it up. Don't make it too complicated. So she's got mathematical knowledge, content. Um, it's on a scale of 1 to 4. You can choose whatever you know scale you want to choose. And for the final reflection, you'll notice there is thoughtful discussion about the topic and about how the particular application or program can enhance learning and then also an extended discussion. I believe this multimedia project is an excellent way to bring technology into the classroom. So this is where I need to know what your thoughts are. If you were there in person with me you could tell me but I'm asking you to write them. I hope this video gives you good solid sense of what I expect for this assignment. You can always ask, you can email, um, we can meet online in the virtual classroom, or we can meet before or after class.